So far, we've been talking about horizontal curves and horizontal alignments. Now, when you do, uh, let's say, a roadway project, uh, the first thing you have to do is do the horizontal curves and horizontal alignment. But what comes after that is a vertical alignment. Now, vertical alignment or vertical curves, designing them, analyzing them, are a bit different than horizontal curves. But before we even get into vertical curves, uh, we need to understand what grading is. Grading. And grading is just, it has many, many names you may recognize, some of them. Uh, the first one is grading, the second one is slope, uh, it's also been called pitch or incline. And grading essentially, I'm just gonna say it's slope for the purpose of this video. And everything it relates to in all the f in in our future examples and discussions and uh, vertical curves right so slope well slope you know from honestly I think elementary school no maybe not maybe middle school or high school uh, in your basic math classes slope is just rise over run well what does that mean it's it's some type of a a number that tells you how pitched or sloped a certain line is. And so rise over run you may also know as change in height over uh, some distance. And x is just some distance. Um, when we're talking about slope or grading, we usually have this number in a percent sign. So whatever this value turns out to be, we multiply it by 100% and we get a certain number right so in the real world or at least here in the United States uh, we have uh, if you ever drive um, in very mountainous or 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 areas that have a lot of hills you may see a sign that looks something like this and please excuse my uh, drawing abilities you have this yellow sign and there's this triangle here and there's usually like a little car or a truck or something and it says 7% grade. Well, 7% grade, what does this actually mean? What this means is that if the grade is 7% that then that means this particular road that you're driving on and in this case it's it's going uphill. Um, this line rises seven feet for every 100 feet in distance. In other words, this line that you're driving on is going to rise seven feet for every 100 feet traveled. All right? And usually, uh, we again, we express this as a percent uh, because if we took this definition up here and we said, okay, well, the change in height or the rise is seven feet, and we divide that by some distance x, which is 100 feet, we're going to get 0 0.07. We don't like that. We don't want to put 0 0.07 on a sign, right? So we multiply it by 100, and our result is 7%, right? 1, 2, 7%. And this can, of course, be um, an incline or a decline. So slope can go either up 7%, or it can go down 7%. Right? So that was kind of the basic uh, definitions of what grading is, what slope is, um, some, I guess, one quick real world example. Uh, so I think in the next video, we'll look, in, we'll look at grading and how it applies to advanced geomatics or advanced survey and how this is going to be used for vertical curves. All right? See you then.